welcome to the podcast with Face, Pat, and Tiz. Speaking of fights, uh, Face. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, yeah. That's See, uncharacteristically, I got a, I got a different topic this week. Uncharacteristic of me, I'm gonna talk about a little bit of sports, man. Bring some sports to the table. So, um, me myself, the only sport I really watch is mixed martial arts, and one of the leagues I predominantly watch is the UFC. Um, I don't know if y'all familiar with it, but I know y'all somewhat familiar with it. Our listeners, because I don't you. know if y'all familiar with it, but Ultimate Fighting Championship is what UFC stands for. It's um, one of the leading mixed martial arts leagues out there. Um, you got several others. You got the One Championship. You got Bellator. Um, now you got stuff like bare bare knuckle fights. Um, the bare knuckle fighting coming out. It just came out. They're making a big wave. We got a lot of ex UFC uh, fighters going over there. Some different. Hmm. I said you got the pride, you got K one. Oh. oh yeah, oh yeah, pride gone. Your pride got consumed into um UFC. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why they're they all now. Mm-hmm. UFC big, UFC big. They consumed with Zufa. Um, the people who own UFC Zufa, they um consumed pride and somebody else. UFC and like they got all up. They got a lot of big name fighting. This is why Alistair Overeem was over there. Um. Um, um, big Nog, Lil Nog, a lot of um, fighters from um, Pride came over um, UFC and they got a couple of good fights in. Um, but the main thing I want to talk about is their pay and like the under basic underpayment of their fighters that's going on right now. Um, it's been reported uh, by several media outlets, several different fighters on and just dis- like different teammates of this under of the other underpayment of fighters. For instance, like. Francis Ngannou, he's the heavyweight champion. Now, in any other sports, the champions, they get paid the most. You feel me? They're getting their big bank. Boxing, heavyweight champions, they're getting top, top dollar for their title defenses, and they get their top dollar when they win. So in his last title defense, it was a successful title defense. He only got $650,000. What's the profit margin of right. the state? Oh, they make big, big bank because you got to look at the, they got the pay per view buys. You feel me? They got all them. They got anything you can make money off as a business. UFC makes money off. So not only they got the fighters, they making money off. They got the pay per view buys, which they just went up on the pay per view um price. I think they went up to seventy nine and some or seventy something. For the past few years, they've been going up slowly and slowly. And slowly, and everybody may complain about that too, but they getting the money and they provide the, the top talent. So people are going to continuously pay to watch it. You feel me? I I mean, I, I know people it, pay, but I, I guess I'm seeing like, so like I look at it like, you know, when they look at like the NBA versus WNBA, like I know that mm-hmm. boxing breaks records, pay per view records a lot of times. Mm-hmm. It's such an established commodity. I don't know that I've ever heard of or, or seen a reporter that UFC does stuff like that. So I know that they have like their audience and I know that they have a core audience that's very faithful, but how much is UFC a niche thing that like fight people know about, but like the average person, like I don't see a lot of UFC shirts walking around or like, but I'll see like a TBE hat, you know what I'm saying? For Money Mayweather or Money Team. So mm-hmm. I, mean, I wonder like, mm-hmm. I wonder when after paying for their promotion, after paying for their merchandise, and after paying for the amount of fighters that they they have, because like UFC is a, a one entity as opposed to boxing, which is like it's really like a bunch of different promotions that just come together to throw it. But it's nobody who really like runs everything. You know what I mean? So I wonder is UFC in a financial position to really up the Ante on their top. I would say yeah. I would say yeah because they don't allow sponsors. They can. That's why they control most. They control all the money flow, and that's why they pay. They, they fighters don't get put so much money on their payout because they don't allow their fighters to have sponsors. Where boxing and other mixed martial arts leagues allow their fighters to have have um, different and individual sponsors. Now UFC UFC themselves as a company, they may have sponsors 
but the fighters themselves are not allowed to have sponsors. So that limits their revenue, the fighter revenue that they can bring in. Yes. So whenever you if you're not a champion, so if you're not a champion, you go on to fight and say you're getting fifty thousand dollars. Okay, you got fifty thousand dollars, but you still gotta pay your team, you gotta pay your coach, you gotta pay your cut man, you gotta pay your corner, you gotta pay your gym, and then whatever's left, that's yeah. what you come out with. That's kind of like the uh like the music industry, like they're making the money to pay mm-hmm. they're just holding it back and kind of like rationing it out money as they want to as opposed to allowing the mm-hmm. the artist or the fighter to go out mm-hmm. so like an NBA player that might make a minimum salary might have 13 endorsements back home that allow him to still make a seven figure salary but these people they can't do that same thing is what you're saying exactly yeah. now one thing that is making a stir in this conversation even though he is annoying as hell is Jake Paul um, Jake Paul has made a stand on for higher fighter pay. He's challenged the owners of UFC to try to understand why y'all limited the pay or try to challenge him just to raise the pay. You feel me? Like he's paying in these exhibition fights that Jake Paul is whatever, whatever with his shit. The fighters that he's fighting against are making double and triple what these heavyweight champions in the UFC under contract are making per fight. You feel me? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He's man. He's what's the word I'm looking for? He's rooting for a fighters' union, which would be I say it got the good things and the bad things. If UFC or the mixed martial arts community goes for a fighter union, because different leagues, like I say, have higher pay. Um, Bellator is mm-hmm. Bellator, for instance. They they allow sponsorships for their individual fighters, so their fighters can make more money um, at a lighter weight. Um, as we all know, lighter weights. They make less money. You know, heavyweights make more money. Um, it's more draw. The more, I guess you could say, the more people you bring in, the more pay per view buys you 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 drum up, you get more money. So that's why you see more UFC people doing more. It's more talkative now. It's more of a show. It's more more uh, put a show in like uh, Conor McGregor, the 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 brash, the talking. Uh, if you see what he was doing with Florida, he gonna sell yeah, that exactly gonna be, be, sure because of that. Right. How many exactly. people right. are that's because of that. I think that's my, I think that's my thing. Like, I'll no, we, look at a Conor McGregor who made see, him. Conor just started like that, though. Conor just started like that. Conor began to fight, won't like that. Conor grew into that persona and him talking shit. That's what drew people into him. That's why you see people having that copycat image like Kobe Covington. The the character he's like it's a character he he put on a persona he put on to try to draw in more fights because the more attention you get the of course the UFC gonna try to book you fights because more people gonna watch the fights more pay per view buys so that gets you the bigger fights that you may want make bigger fights that you may need you feel me to propel you how you in it but you got people who don't do all that shit who just about fighting who just about I'm in here working grinding I'm trying to whip some ass I'm whipping the ass with my money. I shouldn't have to go and do all this talking and rah, 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 just to get the money I deserve for whipping the same ass, this other nigga whipping ass, but he just yeah, talking should. shit. Yeah, you should, though. Because if don't nobody give a fuck about how much you whipping ass, then, like, you're exactly. not, you know, you're not exactly. you know, like, I, I think, like, that's my thing, like, so if UFC give you sponsorship deals and all that, then the people who ain't getting no sponsorships because they born as fuck, but they, be, they, but they 32 and 0 or whatever, they gonna still have the same gripe. Like at some point, like in certain in, in sports, especially, man, like it's a yeah, it's a how much can you do, how well can you do? But then once you do well, if you want uh, if you want the bread, you have like life is about <clears throat> like how much is your personality worth? Like, how much do people like you? That's how you get jobs, that's how you get promotions, that's how you get a bunch of shit. Like, how likable are you? And if you ain't that likable, then I'm sorry. In life, you're going to have a ceiling on it. You're still going to make more money than the average person walking the street, but you're not going to make it because you might be the best fighter in the world that nobody gives a fuck about. Now, to add to the conversation, with the different leagues coming up, you have um, they did a trade. The first ever trade between leagues was like uh, a couple years ago where UFC traded Demetrius Johnson, one of their top. Um, I think I forgot what weight class he was. One of one of the smaller weight classes over the one the one championship, and they got they got Ben Askren over the UFC. Now Demetrius Johnson, 
he's one of the GOAT little fighters. You've been like undefeated for years and years at a time. GOAT. Ben Askren was supposed to be a a great ass wrestler, but he got dusted off in his first couple fights coming to UFC, then retired. <laughs> but that over oh, that but with that type of shit, it's opening up the round for like other new shit to come up. So with people coming into the end of the con the end of their contracts in UFC, they looking at being like somewhat a free agent and fighting in different leagues and being free to fight in different leagues and free to fight in different shit because their contracts bind them not to be able to do certain shit. So the UFC fighters, if they want to go to Bellator, they can't go to Bellator and fight until your contract's up. But even then, if if the UFC chooses to resign you for a good price, are you gonna go? Because Bellator allows sponsors. You feel me? They got different competition. And from what I've been seeing with Bellator, they got some good high high ranking competition. Like they they competition ain't no ain't no hoes over there. Like I've I've watched a, a bunch of different leagues. Like they got a um this African league I was watching last night. Um they got a reality show on TV, something like um the UFC got. It's on Netflix. AK, it's um, AKO or some shit like that. Now, them niggas can't fight. I'm gonna be real. I couldn't even watch. <laughs> I couldn't even watch two or three fights. It, it was like I'm, I'm a big mixed, mixed martial arts motherfucker. I, I get down with this shit. Like I can sit down and watch this shit all fucking day because that's my sport. You feel me? Like motherfuckers watch football all fucking day on Sundays. I can sit down on Friday or Saturday and watch the UFC, Bellator, all that shit, the reruns, all that shit. You feel me? Because that's just my shit. But these motherfucking Africans, I'm sorry. That's all I can say is I'm sorry. They don't deserve to get paid <laughs> shit for what they were doing. Here's Not at all. A, here's a question. But, um, back, back, go ahead. Devil's advocate. How does UFC make as much as a boxing event? I would say so on pay per view buys and on pay per views because boxing of uh, boxing events and shit they used to have their pay per views on the same on the same nights as UFC but mm. but as far as a few years ago as far as recently they started changing the nights they have their pay per views because it would run over or mm-hmm. motherfuckers wouldn't change over into the boxing you feel me? it was it wasn't a, like you would think being boxing is so embedded. It's such an old sport. It's been here. It's going to have that permanent audience. But it wasn't mm-hmm. what they thought it was going to be. You feel me? So change your nights. You still get the audience. You still get your pay-per-view buy. You still get the amount of money you're looking for. And you really don't have no competition on the nights where UFC just dominates day nights. I don't have. It's like I am want to. I'm all for the person doing the work getting more pay. I'm all for that. But it's like I want to meet. It's like I can the see boxing. Game. Yeah, like I can see the like I want to compare and contrast because I gotta see the averages. Mm-hmm. Like what's the average exactly. normal um amount that a, a champion gets in UFC on a normal basis uh each champion and then compare that to boxing yeah. or whatever and then and then go from there because it's like I feel like UFC has way more events. Or whatever, like way more yeah, and they have a, and they have it more and they have it more and more now. You feel me? Mm-hmm. They got the um they got this they got the couple shits that you might catch on regular TV and the and the reality show they got. I think they got another reality show out now, um on a different on a different night, a different network. Plus they got mm-hmm. the pay per views every month, every um they're trying to get one every month now. And they got the other shits, um the UFC Vegas shit with the big fights on it too. So they they being they got so much they got so much talent they they got so many events you feel me so they can keep drumming up the revenue I guess to pay the fighters but I mean at the end of the day you drumming up more revenue for your business too so it, I guess it goes hand in hand but on the they, business aspect I mean I can understand limiting pay to a certain amount I right, we got to make our money too so shit if we paying y'all everything what we gonna have at a business we got to make it we want to make a certain amount of profit as well too. Mm-hmm. They're gonna have to find some way in the middle. But well, with I'm the between them. right now that said that UFC fighters can get sponsorships, and that's where a lot of them are making their money, which is why Conor McGregor and Khabib, you know, Khabib, which is why they make 
they can make up in the tens of millions because they're they're banking off of their social media following and stuff like that. Which is mm. yeah, Khabib no fight Khabib no fighter boy. Well, he got his own fucking league now anyway. So Khabib I'm just, was a different I, money I'm just league. saying that it looked like yeah, the, the main both. issue with the reason why UFC fighters are not getting paid as much. For one, boxing is a lot bigger of a sport, so they have more money putting in. Like their promoters are able to put up more money, et cetera, because they've been established longer. But for two, the P, the difference between the UFC champions that's making tens of millions of dollars and the ones that's making in the hundreds of thousands or low millions, it seems to be their popularity. Like, just like you got boxers that like you got boxing champions that like they might get paid only like three million to fight. And they world champions. They might be the undisputed champion in their weight class, but somebody else in a lower weight class might get you know, the fan fan. 12 million to fight because they they charismatic on social media. They got a big following. People see them on commercials. People see them here. People, like, they they're, they get more name recognition. Like, at the end of the day, man, you pay with your weight, man. You get your name up. So, basically, we need UFC to be more... WWE, not fake. Hell no. Just, just carry like, more. Like, just like just Conor McGregor gonna get on, on, on Twitter and he gonna talk back to his fans. He gonna he gonna build that rapport. Like mm. if if nobody knows you, I don't care how great you are at anything. Like recognition is how you you get revenue from the fact that you're great at something. If you're the best violinist, but nobody ever hears you play it, you just playing to yourself. Then like. What does that do for you? So I think at the end of the day, it's like promotion. Like the UFC is a big enough entity that like, if you are a UFC fighter, you already got the cachet of the fact that you're fighting for this company that's recognized. Now what's on you to be past that? Like I've seen the Ganu or whatever, he's starting to get his name out there more and more. I've seen him on like Hot 97. Like you have to get out there and like, get your publicist to kind of go out there and put your name out there so you can start to have people knowing who you are. Because already, again, UFC has this core fan base that's going to buy that shit every time. But, like, the general public, it's kind of like a hip-hop genre where the dude is going platinum every time, but nobody knows it. Like, like Russ, it's like Russ's music. UFC is like Russ's music. It's... He, he, he's selling out everywhere. <clears throat> But the average person walking the street doesn't know them. People know who Bud Crawford is more than they know some of the top UFC fighters. Like, it's just a name recognition thing. So I think if the UFC fighters, like, find a way to, like, become more marketable or, like, get with publishers that if they not necessarily the personality for it, that they find ways to like engage with the, the public more, do more social media Q and A's, do more pull-ups, do more public works, get into the philanthropy game, something to get your name out there so people start to just know your name. Cause that's where the money gonna really come from. People gonna buy a pay-per-view off your name. Like I like him, not I like, like people like Floyd Mayweather or they hate Floyd Mayweather. They have a- Did feel you get a reaction? Yeah, you got a strong feeling about the person. Like it's just like anything else. Like even with uh Joe Rogan podcast, people like him or they hate him, so they'll tune in to see Joe Button. They they like it. Like almost everybody that makes money at whatever they do and makes the top money, usually they're people that evoke a strong feeling. If I don't feel nothing about you, I don't know you. It's hard for me to invest any money in you. Yeah. They, I'm looking up their revenue for like the last year. They fell shy of one billion. One billion. Mm -hmm. I feel like they got the potential to. Uh, I also feel like it's a, it's a. What's that phrase? It, closed mouth don't get fed. Get fed. Like, yeah. Yeah, I feel like in that situation, it's probably good that the fighters bring this subject up because if you don't say nothing about it, then the UFC can't do things to go Man, to if help the, the contract, fighter out. It would be just like the music industry. Mm -hmm. Again, it's it's a self-motivated thing. If you're going to sign that contract or whatever, whatever it says, you're going to roll with it. 
then it's up to you to then find out, well, what can I do outside of this contract to make me some money? Because you signed the contract mm-hmm. knowing that, all right, it's going to be a cap on this shit for me. Like, I I don't know. I, it's hard for me to keep this off for grown-ass men. They're like, how much are you doing? Like, I, I don't know your Twitter handle. I don't know. I, I've never seen a tweet or Instagram post. I ain't seen you on an interview on none of the popular sites. So, like, why would I pay my money to see you? Conor McGregor, hey. I know that nigga. Mm-hmm. He funny. I'll pay to see him. Rampage, I paid it. I would have paid to see him. John Bond, like these names are people who've done things outside of just whooping mm-hmm. a nigga ass. So they gonna get money. Iceman used to do that. Like, do something. Make yourself. Then it might. It might be the team, the team that they're paying because it's now usually if you have a team, it, it's gonna be one person that says, hey, you gotta get your name out there or whatever. Even it's if- your man- it's, the, it's your management too. Because if your manager mm-hmm. ain't handling this business, you ain't gonna be making the necessary moves you need to make as either. You gonna be focused on one thing where you need to have a, a wide array of some shit. Or you need to be focused on one thing mm-hmm. while he focuses on something. He or she, let me say. He or they she need to be focus on something. But, but if they ain't doing what they need to do, you ain't be making what you need to make. So I mean, they need to be focused on shit. If this person, if my fighter makes what they need to be making, I'm gonna make what I need to be made. I need to be on my job. That's what I do know. Ronda Rousey got paid more for some of her fight than a lot of men get paid for theirs in the same sport in the same company. What that shows me is the only thing different between them and her is the fact that she made herself known outside of that sport. So that the grandma and the auntie and the uncle and the cousin that don't really usually yeah, watch the the TV will tune in when they hear her name. They recognize her. That that that's that's really the it would it, it come down to like that self gumption that 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 I right, okay, this is what it is. I'm either gonna keep rolling with it or I'm gonna do something. The people mm-hmm. doing something, they getting paid ten million dollars and they not part of this conversation arguing about. Where UFC ain't getting them. Usually the people that's complaining is the people who either didn't do their due diligence on the front end to actually read their paperwork, or they're people who are looking for the the label or the company or the whatever to do for them, as opposed to them doing for them. 